Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Java programming for beginners. In the last video, we have seen what is a class and how we can declare a class and how we can declare an instance of a class and use them. Now in this video, we will see how to use a class constructor and what is a class constructor. So first of all, we will start our tutorial by making a new class so i will go to my package and i will right click and go to new and i will create a class and i will name my class as cube by this cube class i'm going to you know get or i'm going to calculate the volume of a cube using different length breadth and height so i'm going to declare three variables int length in breadth and in height so that I can calculate the volume using all these three variables and then I will declare a method which will return int and I will name it as get cube volume and this will uh, take nothing as parameter and what this method will do is I'm going to just return the length the product of length into breadth multiplied by height okay so this is the volume of the cube right length into breadth into height okay and this was uh, get cube volume right so I have declared this class now I'm going to initialize an instance of the class so I will create a cube and I will name my cube instance as cube 1 is equal to new cube right and this cube with the round bracket is called the constructor of your cube class and the most basic property of constructor is even if you don't define a constructor Java will create a default constructor for you whenever you create a class so we haven't created this constructor method explicitly anywhere here in our class but this is default constructor which is provided by java for us and we can also define a constructor for us and uh, the constructor name is always same as exactly the same as the class name so for defining a constructor you can just write cube and it for default constructor I'm not uh, going to pass any values right now but it can take values okay or parameters so here you can provide parameters as you can do it with the method but the most important property of constructor is it has the same name as class and it never returns any value so constructor never returns any value so you cannot return like this in constructor okay now what I'm going to do is this constructor let me uh, print something so sys o and I'm going to print we are in constructor okay and in our main class in our main method we have just defined the instance of this cube class and nothing else and when we run the program it prints we are in constructor that means whenever you create an instance of a class the first method which is called or which is initialized is the constructor of the class okay so you can define a constructor and if you want to initialize something you can do it with the constructor 
because it's the first uh, method which will be executed right so constructors are generally used to initialize values uh, in a class so what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize some value like length is equal to 10 variable web breadth is equal to for example 20 and variable height is equal to 30 for example okay so this is the default constructor we have defined and in here we have defined the value of length breadth and height so that if user even don't uh, initialize these length breadth and height we are going to uh, initialize or java will initialize this uh, value for us using this default constructor so now what we can do is we have initialized the instance of the constructor and using this constructor we can print or we can call get q volume method okay so not here but here cube which is the instance of this cube class dot get cube volume and this will return us the product of 10 into 20 into 100 which we have initialized these values as right now you can provide multiple constructors or constructor overloading to the class so you can provide this constructor which we can consider as a default constructor and in here we are going to provide three parameter int l comma int b comma int h okay and these parameter we will pass to our length breadth and height okay so this is called constructor overloading so we can define two constructor at the same time both with uh, different pair of arguments and this we will call it as default constructor and whenever you want to provide some values by yourself you can use this constructor right so what we are going to do is we are going to define second instance of cube class cube cube 2 which is second instance is equal to new cube right and now we can uh, just call the same method get cube uh, volume but using cube 2 instance and here we will define length breadth and height for example 20 comma 20 comma 20 okay so java is intelligent enough to understand that this constructor is this one and whenever you don't provide any argument whenever you hover over your um, constructor and just control click it it will go to the default constructor here right so now when we run the program one will give us the product of these values 10 into 20 into 30 which is 6000 and other will give us the value of or product of these value 20 into 20 into 20 which is 8000 so we can define multiple constructor with different argument as we require with our class okay so this is all about constructor i think and once again i am going to review what are constructor constructor are the member method in a class which have the same name as your class exactly the same constructor never returns any value constructor can take parameter or they cannot uh, i mean you can it's uh, totally on you if you want to provide any parameter to a constructor or not 
you can define multiple constructor and use them with the class so i have defined constructor with no parameter so i can define it like this and i have defined a constructor with three parameter length breadth and height so i can define it by like this okay so in this way you can declare and use constructor in java i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye